Hello everyone. Uh, sorry for the bad angle. Um, I've misplaced my tripod so I can't film from a decent angle but I'm going to try and film this for you. Um, as I mentioned in my um, community tab on YouTube I've got these new little adapters to go on the peg for the sun visor because literally driving TC at the moment is an absolute nightmare. Um, what I need to do before I even attempt to remove that is I need to mark it on the post where the little um, where the little ears stick out. So what I'm going to try and do, I don't know if I can do it from, so you can see what I'm looking at. Hopefully get the angle right. It's going to be there. I hope that's right. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. Right, so let's put a cap back on the pen. So what we need to do is we need to remove that there on the top. Um, I'm sure you would have seen, and we need a bit more light, don't we? I don't know if that's going to help, possibly. Um, the top of that washer is like fluted on the inside so when you push it onto a post if it's if it's got marks on it it sticks and it holds it in position so let's try and get this oh I've not even attempted to try and get this off before but it is it is like like it's got thread on it so that coming up so the grips are dirty I was working in the garden earlier with these I think it is I think it has moved yeah mm. oh oh no don't damage it don't damage it I just bent it Come on. I'm trying to pull on this thing as I turn it. Yeah, it's going. So I don't know how stuck the original is on there. No, it's not ready to come off yet. Because for all I know, the old piece to go into the ceiling of the, the roof of the car could be fused. Come on. There we go. No, come on. Because I don't have another one of these things on here, so... Okay, so that looks like it's actually like stuck on there. Okay. I might need to see if I can, well I don't know if it'll work actually because I've got a puller in the shed.
Yep, yeah, got it. Look at that. All I needed was a puller. So you got the little four little holes underneath. I've got four little holes on the bottom of that one. So the holes go facing down. So what I need to do now is have that directly in line there. I don't know if it needs to be pressed, I don't know, Pro possibly not. But then you can see part of the metal where that was. But what I'm going to do, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the spring back on. Hopefully it'll go on nicely. And I don't know if this is <laughs> correct. Maybe I can put a socket on it or something and just hammer it down with the socket. Or I'll put that one on top of there. Oh, that's working, look. <laughs> Use the old piece. To try and fix the new piece. Sorry, you can't really see what I'm doing. Um, yeah. Whoop, come here. That should be useful to keep hold of that. I can do it again with another one if I need to. Out. Out. Hang on. That way around. Out. A bit more. bit more. That's about right. It's the same as what it was. So that now is on. So should we go and put this on TC? Okay. I managed to get the uh, the inner piece in, the new metal piece the little ears and what I had to use because I didn't realise what the little holes were for on the underside but they're big enough to get these in it's a bit of a fiddle but you can get it in there but only on two of the little pins on one side so you've got to try and push it in and turn it gently so it, well, it's an absolute nightmare but the, the worst thing about it is you've got the little plastic cap will not go in it will not go in but for now it's in, I'm not touching it, I'm leaving it alone. Thanks for watching. Stay. We have some new cables. I'm not too sure what your visibility is going to be. Get the bonnet up. Okay, so under here we have a few problems with the wiring. So grab some gloves and uh, take, start taking these, H, these old knackered, well, not that old, HT, knackered leads off that aren't serviceable. Now, it's a, a little windy today, so please forgive me for that. I can't really control the wind. So, what we're looking at here, we've got the HT leads from AccuSpark. Um, they're, they're already made up, they're already to the length of what they needed to be. The only thing I did notice is that the centre cable for the dizzy uh, isn't angled like this one is but I really don't want to keep that on there because these are better you know because they're blue and they match the rest of the car only kidding so
and I'm just going to move around a little bit um, because when we pull this one off you'll see how bad these wires are. These boots cannot be pulled back. It would not do it. They're like fused or something. So let's get this thing off. There we go. Absolute mess. So spark plug's okay. So let's get the next shortest and fit this one. So this one goes in front right. here to this corner. too bad. The joys of working on the side of the road. Keep being inter interrupted by people. Never mind, these things happen. Okay, so we've got number two going in. Oh, come on. There we go. I felt that slip. Go in. <sighs> At least I hope it did, because you can wobble the top of it and it doesn't feel like it's there. Okay, number two, let's bring that round and hopefully you can see what I'm looking at everyone. There we go, I think that's right. Yeah, okay that's in. Okay, so that's the second one removed. Okay, second to last. We shall go long ways. Okay, let's get this last, the second to last one off of the engine. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Look, it's stuck again. And as I've said before, you cannot service these cables. They're crap. Absolute crap. Why do they even bother? Oh, that's come out of this lug. There we go. Unclip that. High temperature, double silicon. ISO 3808. Then lots of numbers. I'll compare it to this new one, but it doesn't actually have any numbers on it. Why is that lifting off of the dizzy? It's very strange. Okay, second to last, so got that one. Let's put him in there. Still don't know where you're looking. There we go. That one's in. So bring that round. No debris on the top of the spark plug. There we go, I felt that clip. So then bring it over and on the side of that one. Clip that there and clip that one there. Okay, so last one. <sighs> yep, that one looks all right. I need one of those little rubber grommets to put under there to tidy up these cables. Okay, last one came off okay. So that one didn't leave any metal behind. Let's put that in there. 
and okay. Oh no, not yet. You're getting far too far ahead of yourself. Okay, let's get now we're into the top of that dizzy. Bring that round. Clipped on quite nicely. Okay, so the new HT leads are in, clamped down there, looking good. So now we need to change the top of the one off the top of the coil. That one's come off easy. Looked like it didn't really want to be in there. That's kind of weirdly shaped, like it didn't want to go. Strange. Okay, so let's pull off the one off the centre of the dizzy. Okay. It could probably be used again for something else. These Kate, these ones that are decent. Of course, not the one that's split because that's part of crap. And it looks like no difference either way, but. With the way the writing is going, I'm going to have that end on the dizzy. There we go, that's gone in nicely. And this is how it's knowing where all these cables go so they're out the way of everything. I really should put a bit of grease on the top so it slips onto the top of the coil more easily. Found some three in one oil. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna smear a little bit around the top of the, uh, the coil. plastic not on not anywhere near the metal but it's great stuff is three in one oil it's very useful all right let's try this lead again Hopefully this will kind of help. Right. There we go, that went on really nicely. Really nicely, okay. So let's have that cable over there. Let's take all of these out of there actually and get rid of these. What I might do, um, if it doesn't sound quite right, what I'll do is I'll go over the um, the fittings of these rubber boots and use a little bit of um, three-in-one oil just so that they will fit nicely. And I might have a quick look to see why my dizzy cap is so loose because that's not that doesn't seem right. Those clips don't feel that all that tight, and there is a little bit of oil leakage. Let's put them in there. I can tidy TC up later. Okay, so let's get these tools out of the way, and we'll uh, we'll start him up, shall we? See how he responds. The GoPro ran out of juice. Okay, so he's on, dashboard lights on. Let's see if he fires cranks over, shall we? Oh, fingers over the blooming 
camera. I always tend to do that, and I don't know why. Always oh, sounds good. Sounds really good. I think it's definitely made a difference. Yeah, it sounds much smoother. Right, I've got something else to do on here as well. I'll turn them off. Now, I can't quite remember which wheel it is. But one of these wheels um, has a very, very odd um, wheel nut. So I'll come back when I've found it. So, found it. And it's that weird chrome thing there. Really don't like it, never have. Um, don't know why it was there in the first place. So, bad, bad. So, we've got a replacement thanks to uh, Zuni, Paul. Um, so, new Ugga gun. Excellent. Pointed up too tight on that because I don't trust it. I will use my torque wrench, my proper torque wrench, to uh, snug it up properly. Those um, new Accu Spark leads, TC's running very, very nicely. Uh, started up on the button. So, yeah, can't complain. Uh, tried to remove the bung from the gearbox for that um, worm drive for the Speedo. Can't get it out, it won't budge. Um, so, it's going to be a problem. So, yeah, my mileage isn't reading correctly. I need to get that fixed and I might have to get some help with it. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, I might see if I can get a replacement bung uh, because the one I remove is going to be absolutely destroyed uh, when I get it out because it's just so stuck. Um, but I'm hammering it, the new one back in. There's not a lot of room between it and the underside of the car. Uh, transmission tunnel is quite close. So it could be a case of lower the back end of the gearbox, unbolt it, lower it down uh, and then have to jack it back up and bolt it back in place again. So uh, there's quite a possibility of having to do that. So we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching. It's a bit of a confusing video on lots of different formats. Uh, digital camera, mobile phone and GoPro. Thanks everyone.